Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use the UI button feature within the UI extension for Cocos 2DX C++. You'll need to make sure you've created a project and actually set it up to use the UI extension. If you haven't, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to a video so you can go and check that out. So to actually get started, it's really simple, UI colon colon button and just name your button, I'm just going to call it our button but you can guess what a button does, it just has a normal state, a click state and when you click it, it does something so in a real life game you could have a couple of buttons on the main menu you could exit the game, take you to the level select screen, that sort of stuff button, colon colon create this is going to take two parameters and the first parameter is just the normal image so go on right here close normal.png close normal.png close selected.png now what I'm going to do is just position the button because otherwise it's going to be in the bottom left so I'm going to put our button set position and for the position I'm just going to put visible size dot width divided by two plus origin dot x visible size dot height divided by two plus origin dot y okie dokie do 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 okay nope that is not what I want now I'm going to use the vec2, sorry, so vec2 and close this in brackets and there we go, okay, so next step is just to add this button to our scene so I'm going to put our button semicolon and now let's just run this in the simulator Okay, here we go. We've got a button. Oh, well, it disappears when I click. Oh, I put close select. Should be close selected. My bad. I was wondering why the button was disappearing. So let's just rerun that. Okay, I can click the button, but at the moment it doesn't do anything. And it's pretty pointless unless it's actually going to perform some functionality like taking you to the game screen unlocking some features that sort of stuff and to do that you want to go to your scene header we need to create a method void touch event you can actually call this whatever you want and inside here it takes a ref asterisk sender actually because we're using some of the cocos ui stuff we're going to need to just copy and paste this into here and now I can do widget colon colon touch event type I'm going to call it type and now we just need to ooh, what am I missing oh cocos 2d UI actually I'll break and just put UI and get away with it yep so just copy this and now what we're going to do is just implement it so we're going to do 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 just need to put the class name so hello world colon colon and now in here there is a bunch of stuff we can do we're going to do a switch case it's going to minimize that a second and, then, and in the switch case it's going to switch on type this is basically the event that has occurred so you can have I'll show you widget three UI colon colon widget colon colon touch event type colon colon began so when the user first touches the button and let's put break and you can put whatever code within there to handle that I'm just going to do a log so log touch began and to save some time I'm just going to copy and paste these 
I'm just going to change this one to moved. So basically, if your finger is on the button, but you haven't let go of it yet, and you're just moving it around, this will occur. So touch moved. This is going to be touch ended. Ended. This is going to be cancelled. So cancelled, I mean ended, will occur when you lift your finger off the screen and cancelled will occur when something has interrupted the flow of your game so perhaps a phone call something along those lines and generally for cancelled you most likely want to handle it the same way as touch ended not always but that's generally how you would do it um by default to put a, put a default case put a break and now let's just run this and i want you to see what happens Okie dokie, let's click the button. You might be wondering, there's nothing printing out. And I wanted to show you that. And the reason there's nothing printing out is because at the moment we've just basically got a random method. You can call it whatever you want, like I said. So we need to actually attach it to our button. So to do that, we do button add no, oh, our button add touch event listener and this takes a cc underscore callback underscore two hello world and whatever your method was called so for me touch event and the target is just this semicolon and now if we run this we we'll, we will be able to click our button and there will be logs down here depending on what we're doing so I'm just going to move it up there you go touch began now I'm moving my mouse there is just a bunch of touch moved and now if I just do that okay see watch this touch ended and the reason it's saying touch ended is because my mouse or my finger is still over the button but if I were to drag it so it's here and the button is not there I let go it's been cancelled so that's another instance where the touch cancelled would get called so that's it for the UI button if you have any questions feel free to message us on actually feel free, free to post it on our education platform at sonarlearning.co.uk for slash question.php there'll be a link in the description so you don't need to remember that Plus, on our education platform, there's a link to the COCOS API guide, and on there, there is written tutorial. Basically, it's all of this tutorial is in written form. So, if you want a good reference point, check that out. Please rate and subscribe, as it does really help keep all the content free. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.